everyone. My name is Phyllis Davis. That's your and I grow food. I not only grow food in greenhouses, I grow it in warehouses and basements and parking lots. I grow it year round in any climate, anywhere in the world, with 95% less water than agriculture, with no chemicals and no pesticides, and it can be operated by semi-skilled labor and it only takes three people to run a quarter acre aquaponic system that feeds 240 people. One acre feeds 1,000 people and takes 10 people to run. This is a, an aquaponic system. This is before the trays are planted. These are long trays that are five inches deep that are filled with gravel, three quarter inch granite or limestone gravel. This is 40 days later. We harvest greens every 40 days. We also grow blooming plants, tomatoes, the best tomatoes in the world, cucumbers, squash, all table vegetables. We don't grow potatoes or carrots because they can't grow through the gravel. Five by 40 feet is 200 square feet feeds eight people. That's one tray will feed eight people forever, forever. 25 feet of grow tray space feeds one person. This is what the system looks like. This is a fish tank. There's 300 tilapia fish, which I'll explain in a minute. That provides the nutrient source for the fish. The water is 78 to 80 degrees, a very narrow band. We invented a calibrated air displacement pump that sucks all the fish poop out. And twice a day, it flushes the fish poop out of the fish tank like a toilet. And it moves that fish poop into a settling tank that we invented. All the fish poop settles to the bottom of this tank. The warm, rich, nutritious, warm water flows out of a pipe all the way down to the end of this grow tray and fills it up like a bathtub. It takes about 30 minutes to fill it up. The only time we use electricity is one time, and that's an air pump that pulls the fish poop out of the fish tank to flush it. This fills up like a bathtub. It overflows with gravity and fills this up like a bathtub takes about 30 minutes to fill it, and then an automatic trip valve is under the gravel that we invented. It knows when the water has reached a certain level. It trips. The water's been stripped of the nitrogen and of the trace minerals. It's been reoxygenated because of the gravel in the tray, and it flows clean back into the fish tank. That happens twice a day, automatically, on a timer, and requires no human assistance. The only thing that it needs to do, that you need to do, is to feed the fish and harvest and plant. These are some examples of the food we grow. These were all taken within the last month. Tomatoes that just break your heart, they're so good. The tomatoes that used to taste when you were a kid at your grandparents' farm. We harvest greens every 40 days, kale, lettuces, basils, beautiful greens, every between 28 and 40 days. A variety, this is all organic, I might add, too. We use no pesticides and no fertilizers. This is kale, a very popular vegetable in the United States right now. This is me holding a bouquet of kale. These kale leaves are 47 inches tall and grown in 45 days. This is one head of India mustard. I'm over five foot eight. That India mustard starts here and comes all the way up here. That's one head of India mustard. This is one head of bok choy. It weighs 12 and a half pounds. Our record was 20 and a half pounds that we grew a month ago. This is the tilapia. Tilapia are only legal in six counties in the state of California because they're, they breed so rapidly. This is an all-male breed of tilapia. It's a cross between Mozambique and Hunarum, tilapia. And when they have babies, offspring, fingerlings, the females die at birth, not the, not the mothers, the babies, and no one knows why. 
but California likes that because they're all male and they can't become an invasive exotic species in our limited water supply. They're legal in Southern California in six counties. They're not legal north of, Cal north of Los Angeles. Um, commercial aquaponics, uh, farmers own their own breed, their own colony of uh, six females and a male and they produce 30,000 babies a year. This is what my farms produce. 100 by 100, which is a quarter of an acre, produces 80,000 vegetables, 23,000 pounds of fish. A 24 by 47 produces 8,600 vegetables and 1,556 pounds of fish. A small backyard farm, 10 by 20, produces 1,100 vegetables and 400 pounds of fish. Who needs portable farms? Those who want fresh, healthy food year-round that their family can grow to become more self-sustaining. Areas that vegetables and proteins are not available. Deserts, islands, cold climates, areas of crisis. Right now, two out of three people are dying from hunger in Haiti. Our proposal for portable farms is sitting on the desk of the president of Haiti right now for three months and nothing's been done. There are a million point six people that have escaped from Syria that are refugees in camps on the roadside. Our proposal was brought hand carried to the Department of the Minister of Agriculture in Turkey a month ago and nothing's been done. We need one billion new jobs in the world, one billion. The third world country need $46 billion in agriculture development in the next three years or we're going to have disease in the world. Protein energy malnutrition damages brains and unborn children who don't get enough protein. It makes their IQ below 50. 6% lack of protein diminishes IQ, cognitive development. And you think that's interesting? One in six Americans is going to bed hungry every night. All these problems could be stopped. All these problems could be stopped today by communities, by governments, by funding. We have two commercial farms in the world right now, one in Botswana, Africa, and one in Lagos, Nigeria. Backyard farms and individuals, mostly in the United States, because that's where we market. We're my husband, my brother, and I invented this. We're a homegrown, home-based business. We have provided 7,000 private tours to individuals who've come to our home in Vista, California. 7,000 private tours. We have educated people. We have taught people. But we haven't made a lot of money yet because it's a new technology. It's only been trending about two years. We invested everything we had. Aquaponics is a solution to a problem. Hopefully, we'll see aquaponics as a commercial, viable alternative to traditional agriculture in our lifetime. Uh, if you're interested, portablefarms.com is our website. I have price lists if you're interested, and you can go to our website and learn more. We have over 400 pages on our website that educates people, and we would love to have you there. Together, we can change the world. Thank you.